Welcome back to my channel. And if you're thinking of visiting Colorado or moving to Colorado, or maybe you live in Colorado, we have many great state and national parks all around the state. And today we're gonna cover 10 of the most popular state parks in the area. Now you're gonna wanna stay tuned and watch this video in full as the number one park we cover is the most popular in Colorado and is in a great proximity to the Denver, Colorado area. Hello, I'm David Novak. I'm a licensed agent out here in the Denver, Colorado area. And I like to do these videos to keep you all informed of things to do in the Colorado area. So let's get down to these wonderful state parks today. Now in Colorado, we have 42 state parks and we also have four national parks and we're gonna be counting these down. And today's number 10 is Boyd Lake State Park. Now Boyd Lake State Park offers a variety of water activities and it's found in the Loveland, Colorado area and it offers great views of the Rocky Mountains, Longs Peak, and also the Continental Divide. Now things you can do at Boyd Lake State Park, you can go boating, fishing, swimming, hiking, hunting, water skiing, and much more. Now you can camp year round at Boyd Lake State Park and you can choose between sites with electrical and also basic sites. Now there is a $10 daily fee and dogs are allowed on leash, but not in the swimming area. Our next state park coming in at number nine is Steamboat Lake State Park. Now this state park located around the Steamboat area is surrounded by awesome views with Hans Peak in the distance and it's 1,053 acre reservoir offers water skiing, jet skiing, paddle boarding, fishing, swimming, and lots and lots of hiking and biking trails. Now due to the popularity of this state park, there is a no-show policy for camping if you don't show up or contact the park within your 24 hours of your scheduled arrival or if you do not notify them that you're gonna be late too, your campsite may be resold. Now in the winter time, there is snowmobiling, ice fishing, cross country skiing, and snowshoeing. You also can do winter camping as they have electrical outlets, but they are all on a first come, first serve basis and you can also make reservations six months in advance and stay up to 14 days. Boat rentals are available and the price to get into this park is $9 daily and also dogs are allowed on a leash of six feet or less. Number eight on our list is Golden Gate Canyon State Park. Now this state park is located 30 miles west of Denver and you will have 35 miles of trails that take you through forests and give you all types of views of the surrounding foothills. Now you also can mountain bike, fish, and hunt. And then the winter time, you can cross country ski and you can snowshoe. And you also have all types of wildlife, including moose, bears, and eagles. Now one thing to note, hunting is allowed on the Jefferson County portion from Labor Day to the first Friday prior to Memorial Day. And hunters, you need to make reservations 14 days in advance, and it is limited to 15 hunters a day. Now the daily pass is $10. You can also rent cabins and yurts for an additional fee. Number seven on the list is El Dorado Canyon State Park. This state park is a true hidden treasure right in Boulder's backyard. 
This park was actually selected one of the 10 best state parks that you can't miss by smartertravel.com. Now, El Dorado Canyon has over 500 technical rock climbing routes and people come from all over the world to test their skills on its golden cliffs. Now there also is mountain biking and hiking for all skill levels. And in the winter time offers cross country and snowshoeing. And please note that El Dorado Canyon State Park is a day use only park. You can have vehicle reservations May 15th through September 15th on the weekends and the summer holidays. But this is a highly visited park and is extremely crowded. Now dogs are allowed on a six foot leash or shorter and there is a $10 vehicle fee per day. Number six on the list is St. Vrain State Park. Now this state park is a family friendly destination. It's an easy drive from Denver or Fort Collins. And St. Vrain State Park offers over 604 acres of land with 152 acres of water with stellar fishing, camping, hiking, birding, and also great photography spots. You do have your choice of 87 campsites available year round. And there's a $9 fee to get into the park. Now dogs are allowed on a six foot leash or less, but they are not allowed in the waterways. Now number five is Roxboro State Park. And this is one of Denver's best backyard jewels. Short drive from Denver with around 4,000 acres of red rock formations, a variety of wildlife from black bear and mule deer. And it is also designated an important bird area by the Audubon Society. Now the main activity here is hiking as no bikes are allowed and all visitors must stay on the trails. Now, please note these trails are extremely muddy, so come prepared. There is a $10 fee and no dogs are allowed. And also note, there is a doggy daycare, which is called a dog's world that is right by the park. And they'll offer you a discounted price for boarding with a valid park pass permit. And again, there is no camping, no mountain biking, no horses, or any rock climbing at all here. But you do need to check out Roxboro State Park. Number four on the list is Ridgeway State Park. Now this great park is only 15 miles from Uray, which is considered the Switzerland of America with the awesome San Juan mountain range and offers plenty to see and do. Now there is mountain biking, hiking, fishing, boating, and swimming, along with lots of wildlife and bird watching. Please note that this state park even has a swim beach, along with a five mile long reservoir. And there are year round activities for everyone. And after a day of being in the park, make sure you go and visit the Orvis Hot Springs, which are some of the best in Colorado. Also, please note Ridgeway was voted top 10 RV park and campground per USA Today in 2020, and also Camper's Choice in 2017. Now there is a $9 fee and dogs are allowed on leash, but not in the swim beach area. Number three on the list, is Rifle Gap State Park. This is a 350 acre reservoir and some of the best boating, fishing, swimming, water skiing, and windsurfing in Colorado. Now there is also a swim beach along with 89 campsites, which are open year round. And it is 40 miles from Glenwood's Hot Springs which is another popular destination. Now there is a $9 fee and dogs are allowed on a leash. Number two on the list 
is Cherry Creek State Park. This 880 surface acre reservoir offers boating, fishing, camping, and also it is the closest park to Denver. Cherry Creek Reservoir also offers both motorized and non-motorized boats, fishing and swimming, also a shooting range, a stable, 107 acre huge dog park, along with model airplane flying. Now paddle boarding, kayaking, boating, jet skis are all allowed during the boating season, which starts April 1st. Now there is an $11 vehicle pass and the dog park is an additional $3. And please note, this is a very busy park during the summer weekends and holidays. So this can get very full and congested. Now, number one on the list, and this is considered the most popular state park in Colorado due to its location, and that is Chatfield State Park. Yes, this park is the most popular due to its location against the foothills, having the best hikes, and located right near Denver. Now, there are all kinds of things you can do at Chatfield State Park. You can go to the floating restaurant. You can do some bird watching, fishing, horseback riding. You can even take a hot air balloon ride. And there are also boaters of all types, along with boat rentals available, and also campers. There are 197 campsites, all with electric hookups and all within walking distance to the lake. There are also 10 group camp spots that you can reserve as well. Now all these camp spots are open year round. There is also an off leash dog area, which is 69 acres, completely fenced and open space. So your dog can get plenty of exercise and miles of paved and unpaved walking trails. Now there is plenty of parking here, but in the summer and especially on the weekends and the holidays, this park gets very crowded. There is also a $10 daily vehicle pass and the dog park is another $3. Well, as you can see, we have many great parks in the Colorado area and a lot of parks just right around the Denver area. So if you're looking to visit, the Colorado area. Hopefully this, this video helped you with some of the parks there are to check out. But like I said, there's 42 total. You can get out and, and see what else is out there as well. And also, if you liked what you saw here today, please hit the thumbs up button down there. And also please subscribe to my channel as I'll be doing more videos each week to keep you informed on, on the Colorado things to do and also real estate related topics and also stay tuned for this video which is coming up next.